the barn. Hello. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I'm the first one here. I actually beat my children. No, I don't actually beat my children because that would be illegal. Or is that illegal? I think it's illegal. If it's not illegal, it should be illegal because beating your children is bad. Although I'm not gonna lie, sometimes. Oh, look at Hendrix! Where you been, big boy? I haven't seen him in months. Oh, hello. I gotta check you over, are you okay? Oh, you'll be fat. Who's feeding you? Hello. Uh, he catches rabbits. Have you been eating rabbits? He was here last night. Was he? Yeah. Can you feed him? Here, hug him, love him so he'll come back. We put a nice bed for you up there where you want to be. Wow. Good boy. Thank you. He feels, he seems like a stranger. I haven't seen him in so long. The <laughs> He's a man. Right. I don't even know who gets what for goodness sake. All right. Um, they're supposed to have colors and I forget who they are because they got mixed up. Who gets what color? Does, uh, Sky. You have Sky. I have Sky? Oh, back it up. Back it up. Oh, look at your um, salt lick is gone. Purple goes to Gracie. Gracie has no water? She drank it all? Where'd he go? Oh. There with Ruby. Ruby, leave. No, maybe you're the reason why he goes away. Oh, no, I pushed him off the table. Why does he seem so like normally he's. Oh. Water. Normally he's like hyper and happy. He seems like he doesn't know us Gracie anymore. Gracie has no water. Did she drink and it all? And Sky has no salt lick. Okay. All right. He might want water in there. Right, yeah. It's so weird that he's been gone this whole, like, he's gone so much. Oh, he still likes a nice rub. Are you out there making babies with other people's barn cats? Probably. I feel like, kind of like, wouldn't it be fun to have like a bunch of barn kittens? Just roaming around. Yeah, but not at this barn. This barn's too close to the road and I can't hack that. Oh, yes. See, he's like more standoffish. Well, that's good. I was not expecting this camera. Like, I don't know about the colors. But anyway, welcome to today. Today entails more lessons. So you guys know, do you guys know Billie Eilish? She's like a singer, she's young, she's amazing. And I just found out the other day that she was homeschooled and she talked about how being homeschooled was able her to um, help facilitate the fact that she was able to express and learn her creative side. And that's what I love about homeschool. So the girls get to ride a lot. Who knows what will happen in the future and if it has any play in their lives as adults, but I feel like they could, it could. What do you want to be when you grow bigger? A, a horseback rider? You want to be a horseback rider? Yeah. A know. coach or a rider? Rider. You want to be a horseback rider? <laughs> I was going to drop it and I was going to drop it on my own. <laughs> Kathy's like, shut up, mom. I was going to drop it and it was going to go bad, so I had to just let it go when I let it go. Okay, so today is finally a day that I'm going to get to come down here and clean this barn up a bit. It's been a few days. It's been a hot minute because it's just, winter's bad. I, I'm going to stop apologizing. Winter just sucks. It's hard. It's bad in Canada. You don't get to do all the things, but summer's coming, you guys, and it's going to be amazing. Gabby's going on about how bad Canada is. Yeah, it, I mean, it's amazing. You don't get a lot of deadly stuff here, like spiders and snakes. <laughs> but it's hard, too, because we don't get to actually go outside and live. The funniest thing just happened. I was... Oh, you can't put the music in. Oh, yeah, I can't put the music in. Don't listen to the music. That is Gabby's copyrighted music from her phone. Anyway, I was cleaning the arena, and the cat went running by. And I feel like he's... he's I feel like he's getting love from somebody else, you guys. I think he's betrayed us. I think he's having an affair with another family. So he went running by here. And so I came to this little gate here and I called him and I was like, and then this happened. 
Well, it's not happening as much, but all the horses turned when I called the cat and they all came over to me. <laughs> I was like, you guys are not cats. They're so afraid of you, Skye. Do you really want to go through life, everybody being afraid of you? Ha, <laughs> got it. Somebody said, Sam doesn't take as long to get kisses from Willow. So I said to prove that I could do it, you guys. <laughs> she was just joking though, it's okay. Oh damn, I've been feeling something for you lately. And I am trying so hard to just stay cool. Saying we're just friends, but thinking you're my man. And baby, if you knew. So Brooklyn's birthday is coming up really soon, like really soon. So a month ago, I contacted the barn that's close to her because you guys know I want to give her riding lessons for her birthday. And they contacted me back and said, "Okay, yeah, sure, we'll get the coach to. I'll sign you up." And then. I didn't hear anything for weeks and then I heard a message, I'm gonna invoice you and you can just pay now. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna pay until I at least talk to the instructor. And she's like, okay, you don't have to pay until after you talk to the instructor, I'll pass you her name, I'll pass her name to you. And then like weeks have gone by and I still haven't heard anything. And I just feel a little bit nervous about sending to her, her to a place that was gonna make me pay and then never follow through. <laughs> So I don't know what to do. Like it's an hour away for us to just drive there and stop by. I want it to be a surprise for Brooklyn. So I tried to contact a few other people that are associated with the barn. Hopefully it will work out that way. But you know how God it gives you all the signs when something's not meant for you. And if we listen at this point, like God said to me like at least three times, this is not your barn, this is not your barn. Probably 10 times God has said, this is not your barn. And, but I, have no, I can't do anything about it because her, her parents, live close to this barn and it's the only barn that she's going to actually be able to they're going to actually be able to get her to so it's either this barn or no barn even though god's telling me this is not your barn wait i'll come back to this because one day i'll be here saying that is not our barn and i should have listened right now but i'm still going to continue to pursue it because that's what happens that's that's what i where i am right now like it's my only choice fiona. she can't come to fiona if she could come to Fiona, I would do it. How about Brooklyn comes over to our place? Ellen? Yeah, it's an hour away. She does dance. She does swimming. She does all. She has a whole life far away, and it would be like a four-hour drive to go pick her up, bring her for lessons, and drive her home. Four hours she every just week. Come here to ride. Yeah. And Fiona could come here. Yeah, it's still a four-hour ride every week that's why we don't see them every week i don't know what's gonna happen pray pray that we figure it all out or god if there's another barn that's meant for us send it to us send us a different plan because i'm open to that today feels like it just flew away from me i spent the whole entire morning trying to sign gabby and sophie up so i had to renew the girls oe ontario equestrian um memberships just for showing and then I had to try and navigate all the show forms for Gabby to show the Trillium level. So for any of you guys who don't know, Trillium is like a B-rated show. So we're going to do B-rated shows. She's going to do B-rated shows this summer. And then next year she's going to try the A's. So I had to try and navigate. And I managed to get two different sets of forms filled in and paid for. Then when it got time to do the passport and another like oh my gosh it, there was like maybe five things i had to fill in and i couldn't do it and brandon's like come to my work and i'll help you isn't that so kind of him and he did i just gave him all my information he did it all for me i'm so grateful 
So Gabby is officially registered for Trillium this year. Well, she's not registered for Trillium, but she has all the licenses and all the fees are all paid for everything she needs. She just has to register for the shows. So before we go to a ride today, which I have to tell you guys all what we decided, what our show plan for the summer is. It's totally different than what we've been telling you before, but we're committed to it now and it's what we're going to do. But before we can even go to the um, lessons tonight, I have to get grain. So I'm at the grain store. Hey, I say I'm doing all right. I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered. And I cry when you're not around. Because it matters, matters. Dreaming of your kisses. In the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing. But I feel like, hey, I say I'm doing all right. I'm fine, but I'm scattered. We're just friends. Mm. Oh, no. I don't want to be the one with them, sir. Ooh, look at him. Did you guys notice how shiny Chino is? That's the vitamins, I betcha. No, you put Shoshi. It hasn't come off of it. Yeah, it has. No, it still feels like Shoshi. He's doing better in the cross ties. Are those the cuts? Only need once. Is no, that from his from blanket? blanket? All right. Hi. Oh, Mom, guess what Gidget tried today? What did Gidget try she today? She tried to pretend that they were boyfriend and girlfriend and love each other very much. She stuck her head over the fence to Chino, and he almost did it back. But I was like, Gidget, stop pretending. We know when you kick him and he doesn't care, you get very mad and run away to the shelter. Yeah, yesterday. She's a temperamental girl. Yeah. She's but a baby. She can't have things for later, and she runs away. <laughs> I know. I know. And talks to Lily. It's like, oh my God. Keep going. So, did you tell them when your saddle's coming? Sad Sophie's saddle is My shipping. My saddle's coming soon. It's shipping on Tuesday. It's shipping on Tuesday. It could be here next Friday, three to five days. It could be here on Friday or a few days later. Yeah, and I'm going to be the first time to ride in it. Okay, so we helped Fiona set up the arena, which is super fun. So these are the jumps. I like looking at the jumps, though. Brennan dragged this arena the other day when we were here, so it's all fresh. I'm in charge of walking Chino around for a lap. He's like, oh great, you're gonna ride me? I still feel sorry for him. He's still settling in. I see the boy in the mirror. He doesn't even care about the boy in the mirror anymore. He just cares about the horse that's in front of him. He's checking them all out. He's like, I just don't want to be alone. Okay, hold on. I said hold on and he stopped, watch this. Okay, hold on. Nope. <laughs> Worked once. Oh, you're such a pretty boy. All right, I'm gonna check on Sophia. She's getting the horse herself. You did it! I'm so proud of you! She's mad. She wanted me to help her and I said, you know what? Do it, sister. Did you notice that there are like three vastly different sizes of horse in this arena? Um, Small, medium, and large. That, that red one looks a lot smaller. No. He's definitely not as long. No, but they're the same height. Mm, you see, he looks yeah, smaller. He looks, I think he's six foot. Isn't he six, 16 hands? Hmm? Isn't he 16 hands? I'm pretty sure they're the same size. What? One way to figure that out. I know. Let's push them off and see how which one lands first. <laughs> Come on, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on the weight of the child, though, because the heavier child's gonna fall um, faster. I don't know. This one's definitely thicker. Yeah. He good boy. Yay! <laughs> Because he was not thick when we got him. Healthy looking now. Yay! All of our horses are fed? Yeah, yeah even Chino? Whoa! Does he have. Oh, I feel bad. Does he have. A, does the neck go on that? Because he's going to be cold. We're trying to arrange blankets. I got Gracie's uh, passport and everything today. You saw it? You were nosy? 
So, uh, we found out that this girl is going to show on the weekend. What are you showing? Crossroads and Hack. Crossrails and Hack, and she was really nervous to show Crossrails, but Fiona talked her into it because you're a pro at jumping with him now. I'm doing it for Fiona. Okay, so we figured out the whole show thing, and I spent all day filling in registration papers. Who are you showing at Trillium? Chino. Chino. And um, what are you going to do with Finn? Schooling shows. So she's going to show Finn here at schooling shows. She's going to so show Chino at Trillium and then she's gonna show Finn home and he's gonna have a whole other year to get ready for the A circuits or for the Trillium circuit. He needs so much more work and Chino needs work too, but a different kind of work, stuff that they can work on. So that's their plan. And we have all of his passport and we have all of his uh, licenses or whatever it is you have to have, like so many of them to show at the Trillium level and we're ready to go. Sophie, what are you showing this year? But you're showing just schooling shows this year? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. All right, just so for the record, Sam is here last minute. I want this. Last minute Valentine's Day shopping. I want this. Oh, they're so cute. I want the purple one. I want the purple one. You do not like stuffies. Gotta be secure. You cannot buy. We're past stuffy age. It's my spirit animal. It's not your spirit animal. Mom, it's my All right. Head. We are coming into Walmart, and Gabby's like, I don't want to go in. I smell like a horse. And I'm like, who cares? And Gabby's like, oh, forget it. I just saw somebody walking in their pajamas. I'm good. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. No, I said that's me. Gabby, you need this wool to match your llama. My We're not buying llamas. I'm buying my llama. I am. I am too. How much are they? It's 14 They're something. $15. We're looking. No, I want the paper for a laminating machine. Oh, there it is. That's it. That's what I want right there. What's even more me than this llama? The llama doing this. That's me. That's Gabby, a llama doing that. Um, I wanted to buy lamination. I wanted to buy laminating papers because I want to take all of her registration forms and selfies and laminate them so that we have them for the for the season and i want to buy one of those big huge circle rings and hold them all together i don't know where i'd find that